Hi, my name is Miss O'Hanlon and I have been teaching at Christ the King for 14 years. My specialist subject area is design and technology, but specifically at CTK6, I teach the level three diploma in food, science and nutrition. Food is a passion of mine and I absolutely love teaching this subject. So I look forward to those of you that want to join this course. Okay, the course is made up of four units. Unit one is meeting nutritional needs of specific groups. A part of this course is learning about food safety, learning about the diet throughout life, the nutrients that we need, and how we can tailor specific diets to specific groups of people. Unit three is experimenting to solve food production problems. And in this, we look at the science of food. So we quite often, do experiments with food and look at how they react to different heat, for example, um, and we do practicals linked in with that. Unit four is current issues in food science and nutrition, and this is where you complete a research project surrounding the current issues that are happening in food. Hi, my name is Miss O'Hanlon, and I have been teaching at Christ the King for 14 years. My specialist subject area is design and technology, but specifically at CTK6, I teach the level three diploma in food, science and nutrition. Food is a passion of mine and I absolutely love teaching this subject. So I look forward to those of you that want to join this course. Unit three is experimenting to solve food production problems. And in this, we look at the science of food. So we quite often do experiments with food and look at how they react to different heat, for example, um, and we do practicals linked in with that. In terms of assessment, there are two mandatory units and one optional. So the two mandatory are unit one and unit two. The optional is unit three or unit four. For unit one, there's a 90 minute exam and this tests you around the nutrition topic that we spoke about earlier. There's also a case study that you can look at on a person's particular diet and you do assessment around their diet. For the coursework element in unit one, you can look at specific briefs. So an example might be a personal trainer and looking at their clients and looking at the client's BMI and creating a diet surrounding that. Now, obviously, all of unit one involves a lot of practical work. So you will do practical dishes that are linked to each of the nutrients and you'll also produce a three course meal as part of your coursework. And you'll see some of this on the video clip that's produced at the end. Unit two is an externally assessed piece of work, but you do actually complete it in school under an eight hour timed assessment. And that is related to keeping food safe. So an example of this might be that there's food poisoning that happens in a restaurant and you, it's your job to do the investigation into how that's actually happened and you do a report surrounding that. For unit three, this is the one that relates to science experiments. So you would do an actual experiment on food and you do a write-up linked in with that. Or if you chose unit four, that is the research project. So you'd look at something that's currently happening with food or somewhere that you'd like food to be included. So an example of a brief for that that was done recently was that primary schools were trying to introduce food into the curriculum. So a student looked at how that can be incorporated into their schemes of work and wrote a report surrounding that. If you've got a passion for food, there are lots of career opportunities. So you can work in hotels, restaurants, or in the tourist area of food. It also links in with anything to do with nutrition and health. You have got the opportunity to go on to degrees that link in with science or uh, BA on in food and nutrition, for example, or in public health and nutrition. And if you've got anything that you'd like to ask, then just send me a message. But in terms of results, we've had some fantastic results across the years where all of our students have achieved merit or distinction. And I look forward to seeing you at CTK6. Music